TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. Two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in pretty green territory. Dow Jones up 278 points, trading at 26,207. We've got the NASDAQ up 89 points, trading at 7819. And the S&P's up 29 points, trading at 2867. Quite a day for notes and bonds, lower price and higher yield, a change from the recent trend. We got the 10-year note, negative 18 ticks, 123.21, 30-year bond minus a full point and 14 ticks, trading at 148.07. Dollar index basically flat off 25 ticks, 96.820, and gold off $4.50, trading at 12.94. And how about oil? Up a buck 52 trading at 61 66 we'll start it off let's jump over to the futures market we'll start it off with the dow basically at session highs we had a little bit of volatility right before the market opened the opening bell we ring in the start of a new month a new quarter a little bit of volatility we spike lower from but from there we trade from 26,088 we're now up above 26,217 in the Dow June futures Nasdaq 100 much the same session highs as we speak climbing for that 7500 mark currently trading 7497 s and P's session highs as well, trading at 2867 a little bit of volatility and then 10 o'clock we begin the run higher Gold contract, we were up above $1,300 briefly early this morning, 1301.44. From there, we're back trading negative territory, 1293.89. Crude oil trading higher for most of the session, 61.56. Highs of the session just made within the last hour, 61.71, the price of crude. And euro US dollar, pretty tame, a little bit lower, 112.07 that euro US dollar. In terms of what else you have happening out there, Lyft going public on Friday. Friday was a great day, but Lyft this morning giving back all of those gains from the IPO. Priced at $72, opened on Friday at $88.60, currently trading under that pricing point, $70.69. In terms of other stocks moving around, how about Amazon getting an upgrade up 1.8% or $32 in the positive, and you had Wynn coming out with their numbers up 7.6 percent as pretty much holding steady in Macau. Analysts had looked for a decline between about 3 and 6 percent, but holding steady on that Macau revenue up 7.6 percent. Stay tuned, folks. we got a replay coming right now. Dave White off today. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Have a great Monday.